Today I will be sharing on how to install and configure WebDAV function in Apache Web Server. Before we start, you need to have Apache Web Server pre-installed. Please follow this video on how to install Apache Web Server, link in the description below. First, we need to enable Apache's DAV module, type the following command. Next is to create a web DAV folder, ensure this folder resides inside Apache working directory. Then, we need to assign the ownership to the newly created folder. Next, we need to create a location to store the password, this is important that the folder is created. Assign the same ownership to that folder. Now, modify the configuration of an existing website. If you have followed my tutorial on how to install the Apache web server, the configuration file will look similar as shown. Add the following configuration is shown.
Once done, save the file and exit. Next is to test the modified configuration, ensure it returns back a syntax OK results. Then, we need to restart Apache service for the new configuration to take effects. Next, we need to create an empty file, this file will be used to store all users' login information. Also, we need to assign the correct ownership for that password file, this will allow Apache read from the file for authentication process. Now, we can create the first user for the login, ensure that the realm must match the configuration in Apache. Then, you will be prompted to type a new password, type the password for the new user and reconfirm the password again when prompted. Next, is to enable the authentication digest module for Apache web server. Next, restart Apache service again for the new changes to take effects. For testing purpose, let's create a dummy text file in the WebDAV directory, the contents can be any text you want. Then, to ensure we are able to access the dummy file, assign the correct ownership with recursive flag. Now, to test the WebDAV, open any internet browser and open the URL with the WebDAV subfolder name. You should be prompted for a username and password, continue to log in with the credentials created earlier. If login success, you can now see the dummy text file we have created earlier. If you click on the dummy file, it will open up and display the contents of the file. If you want to add more files, or create some folders, you can use WinSCP to upload files and create folders accordingly. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.